Go for gold with Vital Gold, the ultimate A to Z multivitamin and mineral. Early morning at Lorenzford near Stellenbosch, nearly 4,000 participants get up for the second annual Vital Run. Liesl met up with George Grieve. George, what was the motivation behind the Vital Run today? We've been trying for, for a while to get an event that we could sponsor as Vital Health Foods and we found the, the run with Run Walk for Life. This is our second year that we've done it and it's just amazing. I mean, the setting is just incredible. So just to be part of something that epitomised Vital Health Foods. And it's not only about a great day out for the entire family. There's another side to the Vital Run. Well, Liesl, everything that we make out of the Vital Run goes to Patch, which is a, a foundation for abused children, which I think it's a silent, silent killer in in South Africa that we, we don't do anything about these little kids who are abused and Patch is doing something amazing in the Alderberg Valley for abused um, children and all the donations go to that. Yeah. The event is hosted in association with the Run Walk for Life Western Province Athletics Club and this year many sporty celebrities also pledged their time and energy to this worthy cause. Liesl and Andrea had a winning strategy. Glitz, 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 glitz. I can't just think I could be shopping with my wife. Yes, you can run it or you can walk it, but most of all, you need to come and experience it. Olympic swimmer and Vital brand ambassador Natalie de Toy agrees. Natalie, what's your association with Vital and how did you get involved with them? It was quite a crazy story, I think, um, meeting uh, Vital at uh, one of their graduation functions in Stellenbosch and I met the MD and it just grew from there and I think it's a great sponsor to be involved in because it's all about health and, and healthy lifestyle which is something that's important as a sports person and you know they get involved in things like this this uh, run here today, the 21 kilometer, 10 kilometer and I think for me it's it's just something that also you know get out and, and promote. Now you travel a lot and you're always all over between uh, Europe and South Africa and the States. How do you manage to keep the balance between healthy lifestyle and, and eating correctly? Uh, sometimes it's difficult, especially in countries like Beijing and, and Shanghai and things like that. But um, yeah, it's just to try and stick with what you know and what's good for you and what you know works. And it's days like this where you can actually put in some exercise without really having to think about it. In the meantime, both the 21 and 10 kilometer races were speeding up towards the 10 o'clock cutoff, while those of shorter breath were doing well on the 5 and 10 kilometer routes. So it's really a great day out and I've spotted quite a few people and familiar faces to the Expresso team. Dr. Lizo Bango, how was your race? Oh, awesome. Doing well. Uh, running on ground, farm road is not the same as running on tar road, I promise you. And what motivation can you give to people who are out training and want to be part of a race? Start small, 4Ks, and build on 10 kilometer walk and then go to the run. But every day where you put something in, it works. Andrea, I'm sure you agree with what Dr. Lisa Bunga just said about it being a great day out for the family, starting small, doing the 5k first and eventually getting to a 10 and a 21. Oh definitely, I mean we did the 10k walk, it was fantastic, there are so many people here with their families, it's lots of fun and a healthy lifestyle. Oh, it's wonderful to start with a 4k um, fun run and build your way up, but next year, the next year maybe the 10k and I think we need to train for the 21k next year. It's a great event for all ages. Also spotted taking part was Comrades veteran Kasper Gief and of course the good Dr. Michael Mole making short work of the 10 kilometers. What a glorious race, the vital 10 kilometer run and I led the pack. Granted it was for a moment, in fact it was less than that, it was about half a second and then was taken over at the start by hundreds of runners and ended up in, in 117th place. Well, it, it would have been 118th if I hadn't dashed across the finish line and, and grabbed that, that runner with the, uh, the, the crutches. And I'm sorry about that, but, but granted I did bring the crutch back to you after I crossed the finish line, but what a fantastic race. And you know, it's not about finishing, it's not even about uh, finishing where you finish, it's about that you competed, because it's about exercise, it's about a day of fun in the sun, it's not about competitiveness. Stay with Expresso and SABC3.